If you are always racing to the next moment, what happens to the one you're in? Zig Ziglar. Living in the moments instead of racing on to the next thing is what I enjoy about my homemaking life and creating habits as well. So here's another quote I want to share with you from John Dryden. We first make our habits and then our habits make us. So all the things we do, like my morning routine, day in and day out are what make us who we are and help us perform better in our lives. So on this particular day, it was our oldest fifth birthday. And so we just filled up the living area with balloons and she was so excited. And then she wanted a bigger breakfast. So I made that and I'm just moving on with my day, but enjoying the simple things and the special moments like celebrating a birthday with our now five-year-old. And it was a rainy, stormy, really just wet, wet morning and so dark, but I'm enjoying the wind blowing in the window, my flowers that I brought in, and then I'm lighting the candles because guess what? It's dark and gloomy inside and so I want to enjoy the special time I have with the little light of the candles. I think it's important to create habits in our children and that includes learning. I've said this before, I want them to enjoy and have a love for learning. And so practicing that every day is so important and a habit that we um, instill when they're little. Baking time. I can't go without baking, I don't think, every day. And so this recipe will be on my blog later. It is a sourdough discard chocolate banana um, bread, but I'm using it as my daughter's cake for the day. We're having a party later on a weekend. So for today, I just thought this would be a little bit healthier. She doesn't know the difference. So I made it into an eight by eight sheet or eight by eight pan, I should say, and just made it special for her because she loves sweet breads and I usually sweeten them with maple syrup anyways. So it's not as unhealthy. And so I made this one a fun chocolate one with some chocolate chips in it and just giving my daughter something special on her birthday to have. was gifted this bouquet by a special friend. Um, she is very dear to me and just heard I'd been having a rougher week and had brought that over a couple weeks ago actually and it was not doing so well now and so I am keeping what I can and just creating a different type of beautiful arrangement and just enjoying these slow moments and taking time to do something that's relaxing by working with flowers yet creating something beautiful all at the same time. do great things do small things in a great way napoleon hill so wouldn't that be wonderful if our mindsets were always on every little thing i do i'm gonna do to either honor the lord or just do it to satisfy um the goodness that i want to create and do so a simple thing is holding laundry it's a small thing a daily task but it's such a simple thing we can do is to change our mindset and um, just be purposeful and intentional
preparing our supper meal during nap time and it is going to be over on the blog. It is a simple taco skillet bake. I love this recipe. It's one of my family's go-to for a Mexican style dish and it's just something I keep in my back pocket for easy weeknight meals. It comes together in less than 30 minutes and it's delicious, nutritious, and it's just all around one to have. And that's something I like with um, living simply is you plan ahead. So this is one you can pre-ground some hamburger, use leftover. In this video, I use some leftover hamburger I had, ground a little bit more, and just throw this dish together so that you can enjoy the time you have with family instead of just always being in the kitchen thinking about what you need to make for the next meal. After a very rainy morning and early afternoon, the sun peeked out and it just was shining in through the window. I am also prepping just a side salad and just listening to and watching Elliot Homestead's homemaking videos. They always encourage me when I have a few other YouTubers that I like to follow and bloggers, podcasters, that just encourage homemaking and simple living, being intentional. So find some people around you who can encourage you in that way. Here is the little um, banana bread that I made that will be delicious for dessert. If everything is important, then nothing is. Another quote that I thought was very fitting as we go and look at our tulips that are blooming around. They are so beautiful in their bloom and I just find peace and solace in my outdoor space in my garden. And then as we take a walk, finding all the beautiful things around us in the blooms and in the buds on the ground. And I am finishing up supper with putting cheese on top and letting that cook a little bit more and serving it up. So I hope you are encouraged today by just living simply and intentionally with your life and your homemaking.